there. Welcome to Apple World. Also, Drew never was in the studio together. They didn't. They went in the studio doing California. They loathed each other. You was Dr. Dre just captured in Tupac's homicide Dre. He truly didn't need Tupac on that specialist yet. She made him put him on there. We'll be there any reality today. Goodness, Dre. Dre Bin had that beat. He had that beat for some time in spite of the fact that it might give the idea that he doesn't say a lot of. I can guarantee you that he can end your life at any second since the 1996 homicide of rap genius Tupac Shakur allegations and blame shifting have been coordinated towards various VIPs, including Snoop Dogg Diddy and presently Dr. Drew since the capture of scandalous gangster Keith D. Many expected the case would be shut lastly following. 27 years of considering what befell Tupac that unfortunate night in Las Vegas, September 7, 1996. The world had found reality while it shows up there's significantly more going on make certain to stay close by till the end for the L. L. Relevant information preceding joining death row and starting work with a man Tupac believed Dr. Drew to be one of his legends anyway. This immediately changed when Dr. Drew was too occupied to even think about afferring at Snoop Dogg homicide preliminary, despite the fact that Snoop Dogg and Dr. Drew were close and Snoop even filled in as something of a protege Drew never really had Snoop cleared. If you could recall from a past video we covered on the circumstance, see Snoop Dogg's supposed contribution in. Tupac shooting Sujay Knight was the man that gave Snoop his legitimate group, which kept him from doing serious J-time and Sue Knight. Likewise expressed that Dr. Dre and Tupac loathed each other so Knight, a previous record leader, has incredibly guaranteed that Dr. Dre didn't create Tepex California. Love or Snoop Dogg from the Rear Collection addressing TMZ from In the Slammer, where he is by and by carrying out a 28-year punishment for the 2015 homicide of Terry Carter Knight, asserted that D. Dillinger, a maker rapper and canine pound protege was in reality the cerebrums behind Death Row Records' most notable deliveries. Esh claims that Dr. Drea and Pac were never companions, they loathed each other Pac and Drea at absolutely no point ever was in the studio in the future they went in the studio during. California, they despised each other. He was cool with Pac, coming brother. He invite P in the event that he wasn't if he didn't maintain that Pac should be there. Brother, he would have quite recently lost him. M. Sum, you understand what I intend. Why should this matter about Dawes is this person I went to what's more? Said you gotta complete the collection, Sujay told TMZ from a Californian state prison. He did the entire he did all that on from the rear without help from anyone else the entire collection. Was done. He did all that he created it. So when the time had come to come out the road said well, they believe that Andre Dr. Dre should be on it so fatigued, and Andre said I need to be on there so Andre went. Titada and said, look man let me say it was delivered by me and put my name on it. You'll get compensated yet allowed me to be the person who created it so I let Daz know that is something he needed to do. I don't suggest it since you're the person who delivered it and you're surrendering your Distributing so Daz marked desk work and said it was created by Drew, moreover Tupac could have done, without that Dr. Drew was getting all the credit for creating everyone's eyes on me in 1996 despite the fact. Had Dr. Dre really contributed very little to the tune Tupac never camouflaged his hatred for Dr. Dre. He made a punch at Dr. Drew in a meeting with Energy Magazine saying he wasn't creating other was delivering the beats, and he was getting all the credit he a bonehead maker yet. He ain't worked in years. Requiring three years to do one tune after Dr. Drew left from death row in practically every melody he's delivered to Pac, scrutinizes him, and cases he's by in the 1996 collection, De Illuminati's The Seven Day Hit. A thesis? He jabbed. We shook Dre Punk, now we out of the storeroom, California love part mother thing too, without gay ass Drew practically the entire third refrain of throwing it up on a similar collection, was committed to condemning Dre no longer dread. Day or Riv, check your sexuality as fruity as this Elise shouting Compton yet you can't return. You ain't heard sibling pissed, see you you exchanged and break to the birds the tunes beat especially before the collection's remix was very like Dr. Dre's Dark Road no digity most of the initial section of a tune called Watch Your Mouth was likewise aimed at Dr. Dre, since Dre was working with Nas promptly following his delivery from death row. Pack expressed the A caused a beat in six years to swear he the will not get no record deal sucking NOS duck, so you can see from this by itself, and from what Sue Knight was talking about in regards to their quarrel, as of late too as he expressed this on his Gather C with Sue Knight Digital. Recording from prison there was some pressure between the pair for quite a long time, 
So you can comprehend the reason why individuals might accept Du Dru was associated with the Tupac case, and fans have been posting. G blended feelings on this present circumstance in a post like I lived in Vegas at the point when this hit occurred, and they expressed that in those days Dr. Drew was involved. I mean, I see the rationale behind it. Tupac was a relentless lyricist. Drew lacked the ability to put out his last piece of the constant. There is insufficient proof on Dre, but rather, we know what's up before we go any further into the video. What are your folks' legitimate considerations in this whole circumstance? Is it looking likely that Dr. Drew was associated with the Tupac murder case? Or is everybody simply guessing remarking down beneath you? Dr. Drew was just captured in Tupac's homicide. So we as a whole realize that the police as of late captured KD for Tupac's homicide after he conceded to being the shot guest behind the case in a meeting with DJ Vlad. He additionally guaranteed that he was paid to have this murder done, and everyone is anticipating that he should squeal on whoever put out that agreement. Currently, in a homicide examination, the clearest, for the most part, ends up being the situation, and everyone has been anticipating that he should point fingers at Diddy for the person who put forth the cash to have Tupac killed. It's impossible. Doctor. Drew was the man behind Tupac's homicide case and particularly wasn't the one behind the actual shooting. Yet, it is extremely certain that over the course of their time cooperating, it wasn't all daylights and rainbows, and they clearly didn't appear to get on by any means, as the reality is that Dr. Drew didn't need Tupac in California. Love Talks ponders. When Tupac got back home, I saw that thump-like doctor. Dre's heart. He was like one of his like goodness. He had such an arrangement for it that he was attempting to sort out how I was going to manage this thump on the grounds that it was so horrifying and banging. However, it was fun. Tupac got back home so I took a gander at when he gave him California love. I took a gander at, like, Dr. Dre gave Tupac his hot. That is what that beat resembled to me when it came to Dr. Dre, because I used to go in there while he was dealing with it, he thought it was his child that California left beat was Dr. Dre's child. Any reasonable person would agree that Tupac made a ton of foes in this period when he was the essence of hit bounce. From the different recordings we've made on the circumstance, you could in a real sense direct fingers at numerous individuals only due to how disputable Tupac was and how many quarrels he would get himself engaged with. Doctor. Drew was vexed in light of the fact that he could never again create quality music due to the Mark's consistent huge amounts of cynicism and roadside government issues when Tupac was set free from jail and began investing energy with Sedge Knight, the two began lighting the East Coast versus West Coast War, which made the air of the name harmful and hazardous. The famous hoodlum was empowering plate records and more, as well as compromising individuals on the roads. Yet after Tupac died, Drew could never again deal with the toxin that came from working with Knight. Rather, he collaborated with Jimmy Levine, who utilized legitimate means to eliminate the G-Funk maker from the mark in any case. Subscribe Apple World for more videos.